Alright, so Sabi, welcome back to the channel. Today's battle's on the Runeberg map, and we've got Matty Man from 2AR. He was in 1, and he's gone across to 2 to help develop the clan there. So, wish him luck with that. There's Platoon with Pyro, and they're both in the AMX M454 French heavy tanks. Very good frontal armour, and a very punchy gun. And reasonably mobile, it's doing nearly 40 k's across here, so looks like Pyro loaded in a little bit late. Um, Alright, now he's caught a 277 crossing, puts a nice shot into him, and you can see the alpha damage is pretty decent on this tank, so it's um, yeah, good tier 10 tank. Alright, now the Fock 1.5 is caught in front of him, and he's lined up any 100. Oh, and the Fock just drives in front of him at the wrong moment, puts a shot into him. Now, uh, I think it was a problem later on, so let's keep that in the back of the mind. Alright, I don't know what that Fock 155 was doing. Maybe he was trying to get out of the game early, but he's gone back to the garage already and it's not quite into the second minute. Well, it's in the second minute, sorry, but uh, just getting there. Alright, he's got a Type 5 Heavy in front of him and an E100. No problem going through the E100 frontal turret. To if you're playing the U100, just keep your turret angle until you're ready to fire. It's not that strong a tank in that sense. And yep, I think it's got great armour, which it does, but yeah, in terms of tier, full tier 10 gameplay, it is a bit behind. Right, it's looking for the front sprocket there, but just got the wrong angle on it. And he's got Pyro with him. Pyro managed to get a shot in and they go back and the Commander's Capola on the Type 5 there, which is visible, but it doesn't sound like it hit because there was no message. Alright, he's got the flat front of the thing there, but unfortunately he takes a big whack there from the Type 5. Doesn't get a shot in in return, so... Back at him later in the game, now he can go back to the E100 there, which he does. Takes another hit from the Type 5 Heavy, so paying the price a little bit for sitting in front and aiming just a bit too long. But, uh, at least he's got Pyro with him to punish. And the E100's been taken down fairly low, There's another two hits, I think he's gone. Type 5 Heavy's about half health. With the angled front, see if he can get the commander's cupola. I think he might get a nice shot. Yes, he does. So, got him down now to fairly low amount. P100 comes forward, offers his lower front plate, takes a big chunk out of that. And he's taking hits from the side. Type 5 goes down to Pyro. This is teams a bit behind now. Let's see what they can do about it. It nearly takes out the 100, leaves him on 130 hit points, Pyro finishes him off. So they're pretty even on tanks destroyed, but they're a little bit behind, or quite substantially behind in hit points. Uh, got some fairly damaged tanks in that total down, but um, at this point, still a fairly balanced game now. He's just looking up in the corner there. He's not going to get spotted from that side, but as long as someone else is not spotting him, but no one else spotting in that corner yet. We really don't have one in that position. There's an object 277 that went past. He's last seen in the um, sort of the five spot. Just trying to keep the uh, tanks on the um, E line at bay, but he's not um, he's spotted. Yeah, may not be able to have the gun depression to deal with it. Alright, so what are they trying to do now? Well, they've pretty much cleared this corridor. They're just looking to see what can happen further up. A bit careful about what's on the right there. Some pretty heavy tanks there, and looks Pyro just take, took a hit there. Can be a problem with this map in 
terms of stalemates. Um, oh, here we go. This new disc, that's what he was looking for. Just needs him to back up a little bit. Not sure if he's going to give him that opportunity though. Chaffinshire 4 moving through the field, but he's not exposing himself. Alright, it's got a 1 2 1 coming up. Alright, do some damage there. Let's take a hit from the 1 2 1, but looks like he's firing HE. Yes, in fact, he is firing HE, so he only did 36 hit points of damage on Maybe he pressed the wrong key by mistake, not sure, but Matty Man managed to get a big hit to him. That took him up to just over 4k damage, so certainly doing his part here. 277 looks like he's coming back maybe to attack the CS63. So can Matty do something about that? Yes he can. That's a nice shot into him. 121 comes up and finally deselected the right key. Puts a heat round into Matty. And Matty just wait until he's reloading. Pyro is going to keep the 121 at bay. Can he get rid of the um, 277? Leaves him on 28 hit points. Unfortunately they lost their C63 and all of a sudden they're three tanks behind. Pyro managing to take out the 277. But their team's in a real hole now. So three tank three tanks down and they're looking at about seven just nearly nearly seven thousand hit points of damage that they're behind. So time to go into a defensive mode, it would seem. Three tank destroyers facing the enemy in the city, the 263, the Egg Tiger and a Minotauro. Withdraw from that position. Now Manny Man has down to his last round of heat. Right. And then he's back to normal ammunition, so oh there's the 121. Let's come back into view and he puts a nice shot into him. there. Now, can go through the cupola of the E4, it's a bit more squishy, definitely a lot more squishy than the E3, but um, he's used his last hit round, and now he's back to standard rounds, and he's only got 10 of those left. And that E4 is full health, so just raising his turret there to cover his cupola, oh, sorry, raising his gun I should say to try and bait the shot from the E4 so you can fire back safely. Doesn't want to sit out in front of the E4 just to aim his shot in. The E4 doesn't want to be drawn into that it looks like. So Matty Man comes back and decides to right wait for him to pop out again. But okay he doesn't get the E4 but now he's got the Egg Panzer E100. Unusual username, the Smart Groundhog. <laughs> Not sure what that's supposed to mean. Comes out every day, but he knows it's a different day. I don't know. Uh, Minotauro is coming out to perhaps face the Yag Panzer. I'm not sure that's a good idea. Moving to support your position. So many men. Let's him know. I just put a nice shot into the Hagaru. Many men goes for the lower plate, gets it. So that's him down but the Minotaur takes a big hit now he needs to close in on the E100 and take out some of the rest of him a bit of Manny Man saying yeah don't go too far forward oh the Jagdpanzer left on 18 hit points and now they are really in the hole they are three tanks down there's only five of them left let's talk about Pyro which is good. Okay, Conway. Nice squishy tier 9 TD. Now, Manny Man just continuing to accumulate damage here. Uh, Conway does not even look at him. He's going to take another hit. She does. Bit of a low roll there, but um, that's alright. That brings up 8k of damage, so he's definitely getting a good target here. Oh, okay, he's got. WZ111 behind him, so it's not a good look. Probably get rid of the Yak Panzer. No, it's got a 215B. And they started to pull back some kills, but they are seriously behind on hit points, so 
just really not survivable, I don't think. They get pushed by the enemy. That's it. Or, uh, many man, I should say. Closing in on 9k of damage if we can get one more shot. But uh, I'm not sure if this is going to be a winning game here. They're really in the hole. Can you get a shot into the roof of the 215? You probably could, but um, is it a wise thing to do? Yak Tiger goes down. Alright. 1390 goes past, Nick only does a critical lead to it. Okay, now it's all coming down now to this. This is going to be a bit of a shootout. Can he withstand it? Bounces the WZ, gets the kill in return, and now we've got the E4 coming up. Takes the hits from the 1390, it's two of them in fact, so he turns to face him. He can take a hit out of him, which he does. That brings up his 9k, and this might be all over. Bounces around for the 1390, can he withstand the E4? E4 backs up to take a shot at him and takes him out. So that's the end of Maddie Man's battle. And it's just the 263 left, who's all by himself and is now being taken down. So that is the end. It's all over. Great attempt at a carry. Let's go and look at the details. Well, here we go. No epic medals. 9. Point 4k of damage, block 1980, and only got one kill, and that was near the end, and a third class mastery badge. So why was that only a third class? Well, anyway, let's have a look at the team score. Right, we finished on top, certainly in terms of damage, nearly three times even Pyro score, who was the next highest damage player on the team. And Look at it across at the enemy side, the highest damage was the E4 that killed him, doing 4.5k. So definitely that was worth a high caliber award. And if he'd gotten that, he would have earned Courageous Resistance. I had to go and look up the rules of Courageous Resistance, and it turns out that you only get it if you do earn an Epic Medal. So why didn't he get the high caliber award? Well, that was that shot that accidentally went into the back of the Fock 155, um, who Actually, it looks like he put a couple of shots in before he died, but that was uh, yeah, pretty worthless effort there. Um, but that, that certainly cost Matty Man uh, courageous resistance, and if he'd gotten that, he would have got another 50% on top of the 727, and that would have most likely earned him at least a first class, if not an a, a ace tanker badge. But them's the breaks, and I don't think... Um, is to worry about that other than the fact that they lost <laughs> and getting nearly 10k if it had been on the winning side that would have been a 10k battle i'm sure so a bit unfortunate there for maddie but great game nonetheless and certainly the best player across those two teams so let's have a look at the costs of running the tank at that point so he fired 25 shots 23 hits 17 penetrations that was a mix of standard and premium ammunition uh, so it is repair costs and the ammunition cost ended up making a very small profit, but the profit nonetheless of 9k. So a great result there for a tier 10. Anyway, a bit of a sad uh, ending there, but uh, definitely put up a great fight and unfortunately couldn't carry the whole team on his back. And even with Pyro doing together 12k between them, uh, that didn't uh, come up with the right result. So a bit of bad luck there, but uh, nonetheless... Um, a great result for Matty in terms of damage and it's going to definitely help him getting his second mark on that tank. Anyway, um, I hope you liked the video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please consider doing that. We'll have more great content to follow. Thanks very much for watching.